Hello friends, welcome back to Ark Survival Evolve with your host, Stronger the Bold. Um, I just picked up a supply drop. Actually, I've, I've actually built a supply chest down here. Because uh, a couple times I've, I've been over here and I've ran out of inventory space. So I just put a box there and just stash stuff there and come down with a mount when I have a mount. But uh, today, I am going to try... Oops. I am going to try to tame that big boy. Poor girl. Holy. Don't knock the trees over. I need that tree. There we go. Need, uh, I think, seven wood to repair. Oops. My bow. I want to make sure my bow is fully. I do not want my bow breaking in the middle of this. Repair that. Right, let's go ahead and grab a bit more wood. Just to make sure we've got everything we could possibly need for this battle. Uh, yes. Okay. What level are you? A male level 3. Not too bad. They are fairly slow, so this will be... This is going to be interesting, folks. There's that tree going. Take it! Yes! Oh, I thought it was going down. Oh, I'm in a perfect spot. I'm in a perfect spot. I mean, uh, yeah, I'm in a freaking perfect spot. Sometimes it takes a while for a tank to take effect. So use stones, use rocks all the time. Use rocks to um, help yourself with big with the big animals, because often they'll get stuck on them, and that is your best way. Especially if you can find two ro two big rocks together, um, they can't get over them, and you can really trap them exactly like that. Oh shit! My first Bronto, nice. Ah, now I have no idea how long it's going to take to tame this thing. That's all I got. I, had brought, I brought some of those down with me, so. Ah, that's going to be our first 10,000 food. 900 weight. Holy crap. So this is going to take a long time to tame, folks. So just bear with. Uh, I'll be, I'll check in once in a while. I'm just going to gather wood and do my usual stuff while I'm doing this. But holy crap. Our first Brontosaurus Rex. All right. Awesome. So I was uh, I harvested berries and there was another one of these little bastards over that away. So I've got it uh, narked out and am uh, taming it while I'm taming the uh, other guy as well. And I'm actually going to go ahead and grab a couple of turtles while I'm at it because this is going to be a long, long tame, so I might as well uh, do my best because I've got a ton of ba Garrett berries gathered up. And now it's just a matter of, you know, maintaining everything. And how close was that? I think that's all I need. You have more bad meat on you. I think you've got more. Nope, I got all the bad meat on her already. How you doing on... Yeah, you got 38. You should be good for a while. I've used up, I've used up so much resources for this, but it's going to be worth it. Epic. Anyway, uh, I'm going to bring you guys back when I grab my turtles. Um, actually, I'm just going to grab one... Well, it depends. There's two of them down the bay. I think gonna stay there or not. I'm not sure. Uh, if they are gonna come together, then I'll grab them both. Otherwise, I'll just grab the one. I gotta remember to keep coming back. I came, you know, I've come back up here and it was pretty low on taming, so I gotta make sure I come back regularly. And right now, I can't ride Apple because combined we're overweight, so we're gonna go dump off some stuff, and uh, then I shall be back. Do you have room for one? No, you're good. You're good. All right, we'll be back. 
All right, well, I got some dodos here. Uh, this, the uh, scorpion is tamed, and I parked it up on this uh, on the side next to the dodo. Or next to the, <laughs> not their dodo. Well, actually, actually, truly, next to their dodos, but uh, by itself off the side. Things are progressing with uh, Brontosaurus here. Uh, this can be a it's gonna be a long time. Uh, we are on one seventy nine point something newer version of the game, and I wanted to show something off. Uh, while I've been sitting here, I've been playing a lot with uh, different graphics settings just to see. I got stat FPS up, and so right now. So like the straight ahead with rain, I'm getting 31. Without rain, I'm getting a little bit more, so the rain definitely does impact your FPS a little bit. But look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's look at our settings that I've got right now. I've got high, 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 high. Epic. Sky quality there, ground clutter almost maxed out. So this is running pretty much max. I have tried medium medium high here apply that I get a slight improvement in FPS I mean like half of a thing so no effect at all um, I have let's put this back to uh, actually let's leave it on epic let's see what that does uh, a little bit of a loss not much though for uh, for shadows being awesome um, now, the other, let me go, oops, wrong option, wrong menu, ground clutter, let me reduce it all the way down, apply that, a little bit of a gain, maybe one, maybe, yeah, maybe one FPS, sky quality, that does get me, like, four FPS, uh, so the question is, Rain out of blue skies, or let's just go to mid midpoint. Rain with clouds. Midpoint looks pretty good still, and I do get that extra little benefit of FPS. Now, here's the kicker. Resolution scale up. Ugh. So whatever this is, is the big deal. Put it down here. Apply. 40 FPS. Now, look at the world. Okay, I'm looking at the trees in the distance. Uh, I'm looking at the shadows. I'm looking at uh, the ground close up to me here. Look at my hands. Um, all this kind of stuff. Okay, get that in your mind. Let's put it up to here. Ooh, actually, that's a weirdness happen. Is that supposed to be lightning, or is that... Maybe that's supposed to be lightning. I'm not sure. I've never seen that before. At least I don't think I've seen it before. But, uh, not a whole heck of a lot of difference. Um, if I crank it all the way up, the FPS is gone. Crank it all the way down, FPS, nice. So this here ap appears to be the one thing that really drives your FPS. Obviously, you know everything else will depend on your on your card. But if I can do you know ground clutter like around there and resolution around there, and I get thirty seven frames a second, and to me, I think the game looks pretty damn good. Um, there's a little bit of dithering or something in the trees in the distance. I'm not really sure what that is. Um, maybe if I said, let's see, but this is the epic, what, what's that do? Doesn't re it takes about a one, one and a half, but doesn't, to me, really give me much. Let's look, let's look over there, let's see, you can see that where the, uh, supply drop is. I can see a little bit of trees and stuff, so let's just let's switch this to high. I can still see the same stuff. So I'm not really sure what that's actually doing. So, anyway, that's my experiments. Like I said, I just I've just been sitting here taming this beast, and uh, you know, while bored. Um, so I've got a, a metric shit ton of mijo berries in him, some mazel berries as well. Let me throw that one in there too. 
Um, these are his, their favorite food. That's weird why it's eating. I wonder if it's... I wonder if... Oh, they're, they're probably rotting. No, yeah, I don't know. They shouldn't rot that quickly. No. Oh, well, maybe. 30... Yeah, 30 minutes might be... Yeah. So, anywho, we are about... Um, I'm going to say... An hour in on taming <clears throat> so i'm gonna guess we'll probably end up just over three uh maybe a little under three hours uh total taming time which you know given my schedule <laughs> um these uh big tames are a pain it, it actually is not too bad now with my rat pack for uh predators or for carnosaurs because i can farm prime meat super easy um and um, these guys are tame. You can tame them in a heartbeat. You have to actually be careful not to tame them too fast. Uh, are you male or female? You're male. I don't, don't poop on me. So anyway, uh, that's kind of where we're at. And uh, my next uh, thing that I'm going to try and do is grab a terrace, uh, Pteranodon. Now, I've had no luck so far. Because the problem I'm having is that I'm getting like one or two arrows into them, and they fly away before they can get narked. So, um, what I'm thinking of doing is, is, a lot of times right over across the bay there, uh, they spawn a lot, and I was thinking of getting up on the hill, so I'm above them, and I might have a chance of dropping a couple more arrows into them as they take off, that which might be enough. So, I'm going to try that um, at some point in the next few hours. And if I'm successful... I'll bring you back, otherwise uh, it'll just be a lot of me failing at shooting things and failing at knocking them out, which may not be the most amazing thing ever. Uh, I'm also going to make some more hats, <laughs> because I, I want to get to level 35 so I can get those next tier of uh, well, building stuff, plus next tier of uh, mangraves. Oh, oh, speaking of stones, so the 179 update... Remember how I was bitching in the last episode, uh, or maybe a couple episodes back, about the stone uh, foundations and walls requiring cement, which was ex very expensive? Well, I've taken that out. Uh, they're now just stone, thatch, and wood, which is awesome. So that means that um, uh, stone walls are back. Ooh. Oh, is that just white? can't tell if it's white or blue. Uh, anyway, stone walls are back on the menu. We'll be doing stone walls around our encampment. Oh, that's cool looking over there. Look at that storm coming in. Pretty gorgeous game. They have made a bunch of a bunch more improvements and... Oh, another. excellent. Uh, let's give you some more... Stamina. Because you've been running into stamina issues lately, young lady. Um, wow, that is, that's a storm coming over. That's, this looks freaking awesome. Look at that. Hashtag tourist. Um, so, what I, was, yeah, what I was saying was that uh, they, they improved the memory usage of the game and things like that, uh, which is why I was thinking with my settings and wanted to see if anything you know, really major had... Do you have some... Who's my last dodo? Um, let's put some health on you. Last story was you, Matilda. Do you have any... Ah, oh, you do have all my narcos. I'm like, where did the narcos go? Oh, you can probably use some more. Let's give you half of this. Half of a stack. So you don't starve yourself to death. Alright, why don't you follow me? And why don't you follow me? And I'm going to put you guys back at the house. And we'll go ahead and get that other supply drop. Alright, uh, again... Oh, there's a blue one in the back. In the distance. Excellent. Come on, dope does. Fuck, these guys are slow. Um, yeah, it's blue, it's blue, it's blue. Sweetness. That one lands a lot. Um, I really like that one. It's my, one of my favorite ones. Uh, but for some reason, I don't know if this is a new bug or not, um, I have been getting a lot of the same supply drop over and over. I've been getting a lot of Parasaur saddles, uh, blueprints. Which is like, uh, thank you, but I already have that one seven times. Oh god, they're gonna be forever. They're gonna be freaking forever. 
watch out for this up here. Oh, well, I'll probably get back in time for them. <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go get the Swift High Drop, and I come back, and we'll be doing some more payment. Bye for now. Well, you know, not really bye, because... So, uh, I just got... I want to show you guys this. I got a blueprint for a water jar. Freaking awesome. Now, that I've been wanting because... Oh, it's cementing paste. Fuck you, Mr. Cementing Paste. Fifteen of them, too? I can't remember how many I made when I was starting them. Starting to craft those up. Anyway, uh, the nice thing about this, the the uh, water jar, it does not leak, so you can um, you can just keep you can keep a couple of them on you, and they won't you know won't drain away like a water bag does. So that will be really sweet. Anyway, bye again. I want to show you guys what I just got off that supply drop. Uh, blueprint water jar. Uh, uses freaking cementing paste. Great. Um, mm, can't remember how many I made when I was batch making for the walls. But uh, anyway, uh, the benefit of the water jar over uh, the water skin is that it doesn't leak. So that is an excellent, excellent, excellent thing. So anyway, uh, back to... Watching the Brontosaurus slowly be tamed. Hello, all my friends! Battle Royale! Oh, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> anyway, I was, I was going to tame it, and uh, I kind of, yeah, I did a test, and then it didn't work. So it got very angry with me. And uh, I ran back and grabbed Apple. And I'm like, no, save me, Apple. And Apple saved me. She's the apple of my eye. Oh, and I've come up with a name for this guy already. It, this fits. His name shall be Rust. <laughs> because he looks like a rust. He looks like he's got rust all over his legs and body. Oh, yes. I'm not going to pick. Uh, uh, that's my freaking thing. I always go pick him up. Always go pick him up. Always go pick him up. Always go pick them up. Even when you don't think you want to, just go pick him up. Because that's probably going to be the one with a bunch of supplies, wood and stone and flint and crap like that. Or if my luck holds, it'll be another Parasaur saddle blueprint. <laughs> so I'll keep you guys with me. You know, it hasn't, well, from my standpoint, it hasn't been the most exciting episode, but uh, from your guys' standpoint, you haven't been through the farming and the feeding and the waiting and the, and the attempts to stab those things with the freaking arrows. <laughs> Little bastards. Little bastards. All right, so let's see. Let's see what is goal for me. Oh, also, just in case anyone ever wondered, um, th there's a meter on them that goes down over time. It gives you a hundred whatevers to get there. Uh, it doesn't affect what you get out of the box, from what I can tell. See, this is a de oh, it's a yeah. meat and berries. I don't really care about the sleeping bags and the campfire. The water skins I'll grab because they can be handy to cook with. And spark powder. But I'm not going to carry 34 pounds of that crap. So, let that just wear out. And back at it. Back at it. <laughs> Going insane with feeding the berries to the dinosaurs. So I finally did it. Um, I had to chase it back and forth from down there, over there, over there. Jakar had mentioned that he basically has got to track him. So I tracked this bastard back and forth, back and forth. Took uh, like four landings before I could finally get enough shots in on it. And uh, yes, yes, yes. Now we can finally freaking get... 
got to fix my gear, too. Oh, yes. Can you eat that? I'll give you some of that. All right, so now we got two beasts. Two beasts to be tamed. Oh, yes. We got a Tronodon. We are awesome. Oh, yes, we are awesome. <laughs> so maybe feeding berries. Now I'm feeding meat. Yay. All right, friends. Uh, I'm going to try and get one more because I know this thing will probably tame pretty... I'm going to guess pretty quickly um, compared to that thing over there. And she's leveled up too. Need to level up at some point. Get, take care of that. Alright, anyway, um, I'll be back, guys. I will be back. There was this epic moment I was going to do a screenshot and Apple took a shit. <laughs> oh, yes. You gotta love this game. Actually, I do love this game. What do we got? What do we got? What's in the box? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me some good. Some good. A pterodon saddle would be awesome. Come on, be ready. Are you ready? Ooh, large tree. I'll take those. Uh, I'll take the paintbrush, even though I don't need it. I already... Yeah. You can... Oh, just... I don't know if it makes a difference. Because... To, yeah, I don't know. Makes a difference. Anywho, and ah, yum. <laughs> oh, I've got another. Uh, speaking of turtles, I've got another turtle uh, taming. There was one that spawned right next to the Bronto, um, and stuck in a tree. So I knocked her out and I'm feeding her as well right now. Um, and I think that, I think it's a her. I can't remember. Uh, it's a level like 29. I really want that pterodon. It's so pretty. I might, I might go for it. <laughs> I might chase it back and forth. Uh, let me just check my, check my berries on everybody else. And uh, I think I'll go back and I'll try for it. Because it was a really pretty one. All right. Ah, I ran out of time. Ran out of time. Anyway, I'll be back. I made some more. Made some more narcos. More narco, narco arrows. I'm going to try for this guy. Now, you don't have to pull the bow back all the way, which gives you a little bit more. Like I was going to say, gives you a little bit more. Where are you going to fly to? If you fly across the river... Come back. Fly back over here. If he fly backs on this side, I'll go for him, but I don't want to cross the river. <laughs> Shit, he's going to land over there. Probably that. I don't even know what level these guys are or anything. Oh, did you let? No, you did not. That's the wrong kind of egg. Okay. I don't want to deal with that. Here, why don't you? Why don't you follow me, Apple? May end up cutting this part out. Depends on how things go, but... That's what I get. Uh. What the? What, what, what? Thank you. <laughs> uh, 
fails. Fails. Uh, I don't want to use one. Of, I'll just go up and get some rocks. All right. Anyway, that was a. That was how you fail at getting a turret to run it on. <sighs> Dang it. Yes. All right. Anyway, you gotta fix my stuff. Brr. <laughs> I'll be back. I'm tracking the second uh, Toronodon right now. I've hit this one, I think, three times. The other one's down the coast there a little bit, and then Bronto's across the street. Oops. Oh, there it is. So I'm tracking it, because if it lands again, like it, like it might, then hopefully I can drop maybe one or two more shots in it, which would knock it out. Come on. Land, you filthy beast. I don't know if it's a male or female. I was, was not able to get that close to it. All I want to do right now is have it land. Yep, it's down! Awesome. Okay, so I've got uh, two triodons. Uh, what level is this one? It's a level eight male. Uh, male, right? Yeah, male. Okay, cool. All right, well, <laughs> back to taming. Oh, boy. More hours. More hours. <coughs> All right, I'm just running back and forth in the night, checking on my on my brood. Urgh. Get my campfire going to stay warm. You're doing good, you're doing good. It's all doing good. The only thing that's annoying is I haven't been able to run for those. I'm just not... This guy especially is on level 8. His um, his taming goes on pretty quick. The Bronto is about ready, actually. Uh, I think maybe within the next half hour the Bronto will wake up. So that'll be really cool. And I'll bring you guys back hopefully just before that happens. If I miss it, uh, I'm sorry. Alright, I think... Oh, please. I think that Tronodon is going to be done before Bronto over there. So I'll just wait here and I'll just edit this clip to make it happen on command. Uh, I'm going to write the other one. Come on, eat you bastard. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That I worry about. He's got or she Rust over there has got so much uh, torpor that she can just go forever. I haven't thought of a name for these two yet, though. It is a male and female too, which is nice. I'll have a mated pair, or a pair of a, a uh, yeah mate pair bonded mate bonded whatever it's called. Come on, 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 one more bite of food, please, now. Ah, I can't wait. I can't wait. Not enough time. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. That's one problem of trying to, you know, three in, in at least in the same rough area. Oh, fire went out. Finally, yeah, yeah. beautiful, beautiful. Need to get some more meats. So oh crap! Yeah. Oh no! Wrong target! You killed the wrong target, you idiot! No! It was probably me. I probably... Oh, crap. Well, that sucks. That really sucks. Oh, the Bronto woke up! Oh, no! <laughs> Talk about your fails. Oh, well, at least you guys were there to witness my fail. In the Shronodon! All right. Awesome. All right, so level up. Uh, yeah, so wild. Uh, I don't know how they did it, but I once saw a trio of Tronodon with riders on them. Awesome. This must be the fastest way to get around the island, but it can't provide any measure of safety or sec or secrecy. Yeah, Tronodon wyverns mostly feed itself by eating the eating small fish on the island, but they can also be found scavenging 
any number of dead animals. Because of this, they are one of the most common creatures to be found roaming across the island. And they are kind of everywhere, yeah. The least aberrant creatures on the island. Very cool. Hmm, awesome. All right, well, um, I got one of my Trinodons. If I hadn't been blinded and punched the wrong thing, I would have gotten two of them. Sigh. Um, Sky Beast. All right. Anyhow, there we go. Uh, we've got Bronto. Come over here. Let's go uh, name Bronto as well. So we got, you know, it's not too bad. I mean, they came within moments of each other. That sounded wrong. Uh, they uh, were tamed within moments of each other. And I now have a Brontosaurus and a Tronodon. I almost had two Tronodons if I hadn't been an idiot. Actually, it's not really my fault. All right, come on, you big beast. Where's your, <laughs> where's your freaking target zone? All right, um, about ended up being just over t uh, two hours uh, by my calculations. Little another little spot drop there, letters and stuff, which is good because I'm gonna start doing some stuff. So anyway, uh, well, wrong one. E name, and you should be called uh, Rustoleum. Oh, dun 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 dun! My God, it's huge. <laughs> oh, and I thought I need you. Let's call her S Sky Beast. Not very original. Anywho, oh my God, she's huge. If you guys liked the episode piecemeal as it was let me know in the comments like subscribe tell your friends family and your grandma and i'm gonna go find another tronodon damn it <laughs> oh well